So a few years ago, I had a uh, TW200, and it was one of my favorite bikes that I've ever owned. Uh, we actually had two of them, and sold them uh, to fund another fun project, but um, since then I've really missed the 200 and decided, you know what, I'm going to get one and uh, totally outfit it, build it up the way I want it to be. Uh, so absolutely love the 200, but as most of you know, with the TW200, the suspension could use some improvement. The uh, power could use some improvement, but all in all, just a super fun bike. So I've been kind of watching around, finally decided to go ahead and pull the trigger, buy one, and build it out exactly how I wanted to build it. So I found this particular one here. It's a 2013. Uh, it's got about 1,300 miles on it. And it has a few mods that have been done to it already. It's got the uh, hand guards, uh, the pedals have been upgraded in a rack. But other than that, it's pretty stock. Uh, so we're going to take this bike and we're going to totally do the major build on it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is pull the front end suspension, uh, upgrade it with uh, new springs. Uh, I'm going to put the Bradley 2-inch extender kit on the forks to lift up the front end a little bit. Uh, new suspension in the rear with the new spring. Uh, rebuild the carburetor. New seat. Uh, folding mirrors. New headlight. Uh, running lights. Change out the turn signals. And... Uh, Let's see, carb rebuild. What else we got? Lots, lots of, lots of little things, but we're just going to make this bike. Oh, uh, chain, take that death wing off the front, convert the tires into tubeless, uh, put a 241 on the front. Uh, so by the time I get done, we should be sitting about two and a half, three inches taller, have really good suspension. Uh, couple things that I'm not going to do right away is change the fuel tank or muffler. Uh, that may be coming in the future, but I really like the way the TW sounds just stock. So we're going to start tearing it apart and rebuilding it and make it the ultimate uh, TW machine. We're getting started on the TW build. Uh, we're going to start here at the back of the bike. And we're going to install this Bradley Super Duty Heavy Duty Spring uh, to increase our suspension in the rear. So here we go. Got the rear shock out. It was a little tight, so I went ahead and took off the muffler. Uh, something else I did was uh, pull the wires from whatever that is just to give me a little extra room. Uh, but with the muffler off and everything dropped down, lots of room now, so we'll slide the new one in and be ready to put it back together. So we got the uh, new rear shock installed. A couple uh, things I ran into is found uh, taking the muffler off just made a world uh, made it uh, much easier. Uh, only three bolts for the muffler and gave me all kinds of room. Uh, 
what he did is I put the front bolt or top bolt in first and then uh, just put a board here with two by four so I could adjust my height of the rear tire by just adding a little pressure and get everything to line up and that made it go pretty slick. So now uh, since I've got this torn apart this far I'm going to change my air filter put a new k and in in and uh, probably redo my seat, maybe a little of the wiring. So, that's it. Much stiffer. Yeah, that feels good. I can't wait to get the front there now. So next on our build is adding the Bradley sprocket guard and the Bradley uh, longer shift pedal folding. Uh, with my size 13s, I need just a little bit more toe action, and this is going to solve that problem. Just to show a comparison between the stock and the Bradley, quite a bit of difference in them and build quality. Excited about the new, uh, new longer one compared to the older one. A uh, quick discovery on installing the uh, shift lever, the longer Bradley, is the skid plate is in the way so I'm actually going to have to drop the skid plate uh, to be able to get the, the Allen screw in to set that uh, shifter. So just a little delay but not a big deal. So the next thing I'm going to be changing out is this stock headlight. I was able to get a uh, bracket that's supposed to fit right in off the of Etsy and on Alibaba Express uh, headlight and uh, should be quite a bit better than the stock, so let's get it installed and see what it looks like. Start on the front suspension now. I'm going to go ahead and take everything off. The uh, plan is to add the uh, new springs and the uh, dampeners. And I'm also going to add a two inch uh, extension from Bradley to give the bike a little better rake and better dynamics. And so while I have it apart, I'll probably go ahead and change that uh, front tire, get rid of the bat wing, put a 241 on. Uh, while I've got it off, I'm going to go ahead and make it tubeless, and we'll do the tubeless uh, conversion. And uh, once I have that done, I'll be able to add uh, my high fender kit and also uh, some driving lights. So here we go. start on my uh, seat recover. Uh, I got the stock seat here and uh, it's in good shape but I'm going to upgrade to the uh, seat concepts. Uh, tall, I've got the Kevlar size, it's a grippy top, uh, quite a bit wider, taller, cushier. So it's a matter of dismounting this one and putting that one on the pan. So let's uh, get to work. Oh. 
All right, so we have the old seat uh, off, disassembled, and the new foam ready to go on. Uh, you can see here, at least I can see here, the difference in thickness. Uh, pretty, this one probably weighs twice as much as this guy. Um, I'm really excited about this. This is going to be a big improvement and uh, the way the two ride, you can see just the contours there. Well, we've got the front end done. Got some stuff done since I was last on uh, video. Uh, but my suspension's all done. Got the new fender on. I uh, got all my wiring under the dash done. Lights. Uh, finally today, the uh, high handlebar kit, which uh, includes a pro taper bars and a riser from PowerMad from uh, Pro Cycle came in so I can get busy on uh, taking the old handlebars off and getting a little more rise out of it. So let's make it happen. All right, getting down to the uh, final finishing steps on the uh, TW build. Uh, changing out the death wing for the 241. Excited about that, but uh, since I'm going to have it off, I'm going to go ahead and set it up to be tubeless, so don't have to worry about pulling the tire and fixing the tube if uh, we get a flat on the trail. So let's get at it. All right, the uh, marine sealant's on here. Got every spoke sealed, and my new valve stem. Used the uh, ten and a half millimeter valve stem, so I didn't have to drill the hole any bigger. And uh, we'll wait for this to dry, recheck for any pin leaks, and then tape it, and the tire goes on.
So let it dry. Okay, our build is done. I'll uh, go over real quick uh, what I've done to this. Uh, from Bradley, we did the high fender kit. We did the two inch fork extension. We did the heavy duty rear shock. We did the chain guard, uh, the longer shift lever. Uh, from ProCycle, we bought the uh, fork solution kit with the Cogent DDC, uh, the C Concepts uh, seat. Uh, the carburetor rebuild kit, the handlebar high kit. I was a little worried they were going to be too high, but uh, they're not. I love it. Uh, SD went on there and found a few things for the TW. The uh, quick releases for the seat. Uh, the headlight kit. Uh, my switch bracket. Amazon, I got busy there and got a K&N air filter. Uh, my light bracket mounts. Um, Hand guards. Uh, for mounting the tire, I got some tire lube, some tire sealant. Also got my uh, 241 uh, front tire from Amazon. And some wheel goop and tape and a uh, USB outlet. Uh, from uh, Ally Express, uh, I got another outlet. I got my USB outlet for charging the battery in the back, uh, switches, I got the fender, bought the headlight and folding mirror, uh, and my valve stem for the tires, the 10 millimeter, all from uh, AliExpress, straight from China. Uh, but quality seems good, it's working for me, and uh, that's the build. I'm super, super happy with it. Uh, couple things I got to do yet in the future is a longer kickstand. I've raised the bike up so much. Uh, the stock uh, kickstand just doesn't let it uh, stand up quite straight enough. Uh, but uh, super happy with my build and uh, anxious to get it out and ride it a bunch. I just finished uh, my first ride on the TW since the build. And I am so impressed with it. The uh, handling uh, with that front end suspension upgrade and the uh, 241 on the front, it just handled like a dream. Uh, the upgraded suspension in the rear with that Bradley shock. Uh, the only time I even came close to bottoming out is when I was going over jumps on the whoop de doos or over big roots and went totally airborne, came down on it. Uh, doesn't drive anything like the original TW at all. It uh, just a really, really great feeling bike now. Lots of uh, suspensioning, the dampening in the front. Uh, really, really impressed with its handling characteristics now and the feel of it. And I uh, just love the TW and love it even more now. So, yay.